Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. And down the bottom here, I can set the roller going across the field. Get it right. Yeah, that's not actually field on that bit. Just got to find the right angle for it. Which I think is there. Is that it? Right. The hired help has found where it needs to go. So that will travel over to there. And then it will stop. And then it will turn. So I'm hoping it will. Yes, it will. It's turning. Even though it's now moved out onto another bit of field down the bottom. Yes. Excellent. Right. Rolling at the top of a really steep hill like that. Absolutely, completely, 100% safe. No problems there at all. But the rolling is working, which is a lot better than it used to be because it didn't used to actually work on this map so we have had some significant progress and we now are able to do our rolling and this tractor is strong enough just to drag that roller up the hill as well and do what we need it to do so that's going to go back across over that way Let's watch it there okay that does actually look pretty cool running across here. Yeah. I like the view from up here. It's one of the reasons I wanted to set the series up on this mountain, because I really, really like the view up here. I thought it'd be really cool. It's just kind of backfired because of the distance that we have to travel. That's the, that's the bit that I don't like, is the distance that we've got to travel in order to make anything work. Um, it is a little bit tedious, which is why in Calm Lands, if I like an area that's away from where the dealership is located, then I will be um, compensating for that by getting that universal sell point and having that really close to where we live. I think that's I think that's only fair. I think that's a, I think that's a fair compromise. Right, let's dump that one out, and then I need to go and gather up the bale down the bottom. Shouldn't be an issue. There's only a couple of bales in there. It's that one against the fence. Let me grab that one a second. Right, this is where it gets difficult. I'm trying to get things against the fence with this wrapper because if you just use the bar out on the edge to try and hook round things, it doesn't actually hook round it and allow you to pick it up. It's a little bit of a jolly nuisance. I'll show you in a second. I'm going to show you on the next one because I want to get that one out of there and done. Just move that back a bit. Actually, I'll show you here. Look, if you miss it by a little bit and you, you bring it there, that bar won't push the bale in. It won't sort of grab the bale and scoop it in. You do have to get the bale perfectly lined up. Now, in real life, obviously, you wouldn't be approaching that bale sideways anyway you would be approaching that bale from the same direction that the round baler dumped it out um, so that the, the bale lies flat on the platform but we don't need to worry about that too much even though this is a hardcore series I'm still not going to worry about that level of accuracy unless it just happens to happen like this one right here what well, sort of happened there sort of there isn't it um, so it, it does work it does pick everything up. It does everything that we need it to do. It's just the wrapper is slightly annoying if you misjudge it. Now, it's actually easier, I've found, with these smaller bales than it is with the slightly bigger bales. But bigger bales aren't an issue with this particular baler that we've got because we've only got the small bale option. That There is no other option when it comes to our bales. And... I'm keeping a half... While I'm doing this wrapping, I'm keeping a half an eye on... Where are you going? This is why you've always got to keep an eye on your workforce, because he do some very weird things. He's driving off into the woods. He went right round that... I don't think I've ever seen him go right round a tree before. He normally just kind of like go... Am I going at... I'm, I am. I'm going at an angle here. If 
which is what angle do I want? Oh, where I went up across there, that's not the angle that I want it to be working at. But, I mean, it's interesting that we've got, because that's not a 45-degree angle. And that does remind me, we do have various different angles available now with um, the terrain in the new game. Um, it doesn't just have, I think it's eight angles, uh, eight directions. Um, it's got a lot more directions, so... That is quite a cool thing with the game now, is, is you've got these extra options when it comes to, to doing stuff. So I can either allow it to just keep doing this, or I can change it so that it's doing that one. And that one might be better, because that's going to go up and down. This, actually, it would be. That would be better. So I'm going to take this one now, and I'm going to drive down here, down to the other end. And I'm going to try and line up with the other line that we've got going up across there which I think is going that way how's that looking that needs to go a little bit steeper than that I'll try and do it from there let's see if that does actually turn around or not right is that that seems to be the right angle there was just enough room there for it to turn around on the fence as well. So he's going to go back round and then start doing a bit of rolling there. See, he'll pause when he gets there. He's paused. Doesn't reverse up or anything. He just pauses. And then he does that and carries on. So that is that line there. That's the straight bit. And that's in line with this here as well. I think we'll we'll leave it run on there for a minute. Let that one carry on and do a bit more so that it sort of builds up a little bit more um, distance away from the edge. And then we can see if we've definitely got that right before we do anything else. Uh, I'm going to grab that bale there and just drive it on up the hill a little bit. Like that. And we're going to get our trailer in a bit, and we can start picking these bales up and moving them. I'm not sure if wrapped silage bales are a bit more limited. Because I've noticed this on some of the other trailers. It seems that the... I've, I've tested with straw bales, and I was able to take quite a few. But when I try and pick up silage bales, I don't seem to be able to pick up very many at all. And this I find frustrating. It won't stack them on one of the autoload type trailers using the same autoload that we've got on the trailer that we own at the moment. It's just a different trailer that I was using. Uh, it was in Elm Creek that I found that. They, they didn't load properly at the back um, or on, on any of the trailer. I only did one layer and that really annoyed me. It was these bell, It was this bell loader right here. What's that one there? That one with the with the actual autoload bit built in. Um, it only it only did one layer. I can understand why. There was no sort of logical reason as to why it would only do one layer because I'd had previously tested that exact same trailer picking up bales of hay that I had bought at the shop, and those it did stack two layers high. So I'm not sure if I bought the wrong bales and I tested with. Uh, the smallest bales like these ones here that we've got or if it was because it was silage bales or what but for some reason it would only do one layer of the silage bales that we had on Elm Creek and I haven't yet figured out if that's because it was silage or if it was because it of another reason the bales that we had from here that we loaded up with the auto load and then we took them off and sold them they weren't just normal silage bales they were open silage bales weren't they we had them in the big long sausage of silage and then we opened that one up and they were already um so because they were already open they, they were like a different bale again which is well, I'm thinking that maybe silage bales themselves are the cause of the problem. Which is what we're going to find out when we go and get the autoload trailer in a bit. When we start loading up all of these bales here. We will then know whether or not it is this or if it's something else. So let's drop that one out. 
and we'll go and see how this one's getting on it's rolling in the correct angle now anyway that's that's what we want if that keeps going the way it is that's gonna finish up on the field quite nicely up here it should take in all of that as well because the other angle is going across that way so you've got these two dog leg bits to take care of but once you've done that it does actually do the whole of the rest of the field anyway so it's not really a major issue it's only that bit up there that we kind of want to shelter but I'm not going to worry about that. I'll let the hired help just roll that bit in. I'll let it carry on with that. Because I don't think that's going to affect anything for us. So you carry on there. And we will... Get any more back up, eh? Nope. Alright. I'm going to do these three in a straight line here. And then uh, we'll sort of just work our way back through. There's not that many more to wrap, is there? Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Okay, there's there's several. I don't know how many bales we've got. It was at least twenty-seven from the baling that we did. There's another one. I've. I was just wondering, have I got any stories about wrapping that I can tell you? Not really. I've done a bit of wrapping here and there. Well, I've never actually used a wrapper myself, but I've, I've been involved with, with wrapping being done around me, and I've, I've helped move the bales about, but not really, and I've, I've sort of talked about that before, and it's, it's really not exciting, is it? Like, doing wrapping. Wrapping is always a job that is sort of given to the apprentice, to the, the, the new person. If, you, if you're working for a contractor, um, the, the wrapping job is quite often the one that is given to the youngest lad of the outfit and he's the one that then spends days at a time putting wrap on bales and it is a bit of a mind numbing job and you, you can see that in the expression of the poor, <laughs> poor lad that's stuck doing it but there's a reason he's stuck doing it and that's because no one else wants to do it either and when you go and work for somebody it's just the standard rule of thumb if you're the young lad just starting, then you get the jobs that nobody else wants to do because you're at the bottom of the food chain. And that's just the way it is. There is no, it might not seem very fair. To be quite honest, that's too bad. It doesn't matter if it doesn't seem fair. That's what you've got to do. You've got to work your way up from the bottom. And everybody does it it's it's just a standard thing when you start a new job you almost invariably get given the jobs that other people don't want to do if you are eyeing up a job that other people want to do you need to work towards it now when you're older like me i'm really old i'm i'm 40 now or 41 now actually um so i'm 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 old by some people's standards i'm ancient i have been told I have been informed gleefully by nieces and nephews and children that I'm ancient, really, really, really old, because I'm 41. Um, if I go and start a new job, I don't necessarily get given the jobs at the very bottom of the pile that nobody else wants to do, because I already have experience doing jobs at other places, so I go in there with the expectation that I'm going to be doing X things for X money, you know, etc, etc. You, you don't necessarily start at the bottom of the pile every time, but when you go into a job at 18 years old, you don't have years of experience behind you. It doesn't matter what you've been doing, even if you have spent from the moment you could walk until you went and got that job at 18 driving tractors, you're still not experienced you've spent most of your time in school and yes you may have some experience doing these things you may have had practice doing different tasks and so on on a farm at home your, your parents your grandparents whatever it might be you, you may have some experience doing these jobs but i can absolutely guarantee you that you haven't had the same level of working experience that most of the people that work for this person already has and that puts you at the bottom and i've met one or two feisty 18 19 20 year olds 
who disagree with this and think that they should be allowed the privilege of choosing the job because someone who has 20 more years of experience, they get to choose the job and it's not fair and they should all be treated equally. And, well, actually you are being treated equally. Equally does not mean the same. That's, that's, that's the thing, like, it, being treated equally is one thing, being treated exactly the same is a different thing. Being treated exactly the same is not always equality. It's a bit like, see this, this is where you're getting a bit more philosophical about this, um, you've got three people who are all trying to look at something over a fence. You've got one person who's tall and can just stand there and can look over the fence. You've got one person who's middle height and can't quite see over the fence. And then you've got one person who's quite short and has got no hope whatsoever of seeing over the fence. Um, if you treat them all the same, then you give each person a box and say, here, you can stand on that box. Well, what happens then is that the really tall person can still see over the fence. He can, he's just standing higher. The mid person can then see over the fence because he's standing over a box. He's standing on a box and he can see over the fence. And the shortest person still can't see over the fence because one box is not sufficient. If you treat people equally, however, so it's a bit different to treating people the same, treating people equally, um, you treat people equally, you give the tall person who can already see over the fence, he gets no box at all. The middle person gets one box, as, say, yeah, as in the last example. But the shortest person now gets two boxes. So then they are treated equally. Because now all three of them can see over the fence. And that is the difference between being treated the same and being treated equally. It's, it's two different concepts. And... This is something that is usually applied to the workplace. People are treated equally rather than being treated the same. At least it happens if it's a good workplace. Um, so just because you have a little bit of experience doesn't mean that you're entitled to being it to do the jobs that someone who has got 25 years of experience can do. You have to earn those. You have to work your way up, and that's being treated equally. That person didn't just get given that job when he started there and has been doing it ever since. He worked his way up, and so the person before him, and, and so on and so forth. So these jobs, they you do eventually. You, you earn the ability to be able to do the job, but you've got to work for it, and it... it it seems frustrating. I remember being 18. I remember being given the jobs that nobody else wanted to do. And I remember thinking how it was really unfair and how it was going to take me forever to be able to work up to doing the nice jobs that, you know, I actually wanted to do. And I get to do those jobs now. Those are the jobs that I get to do. And I see the same frustration in other people. Well, it's not fair. I want to be able to do that job, but I'm having to do this job. And what happens is that the nice jobs that everybody wants to do when you're at the bottom of the chain you don't really get to do those jobs but you will occasionally you will occasionally get the chance to do it a little bit you won't be as much as you want to definitely not you definitely won't be able to do that job as much as you want to i guarantee you that but you will be able to do it a little tiny bit there will be a small amount of it that you can go and do and then you have to wait Maybe quite a long time, but then eventually you will get another opportunity to do a little bit more of that job once again. And you can go and, you know, you, you, you build up a little bit more experience. And over time, over a few years, you, you build up, you start to build up some experience doing that job. And then there's an opportunity comes along one day where, oh, um, such and such has happened. This person is off. This person is off. This person is busy elsewhere. You, who was the new boy, who's no longer the new boy, by the way, because they've taken on someone else who's now at the bottom of the food chain, so you're second in the pecking order, uh, or se second from the, the bottom in the pecking order, at least. You've had a little bit of practice doing this nice job that you really, 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 really want to do, 
and because you've had that little bit of practice and you've been patient and you've learned everything that you can and you've demonstrated that you are trustworthy on other jobs and you can be trusted doing other jobs then you get your opportunity and it is your time to shine and you get the chance and you can spend the whole day doing that little job that you really really desperately wanted to do and as long as you don't mess it up then you you know these these chances come up just a little bit more often and that's how it works that's how you sort of earn your way into doing them and yeah so that's and that's that's equality that's that's being treated equally in the workplace if you're all treated the same then everybody gets the exact same chance to drive that exact same machine but being treated the same is not the same as being treated equally or, or fairly e equal and fair i think are one thing and being treated the same is a different thing and being treated the same is not necessarily being treated fairly and so, I mean, you, you, you can go on about this for a very, very long time, the, the, and the, this discussion, and it applies to so many different things, not just the workplace, but to all kinds of different things. Um, and, yeah, it's, it's kind of like you, you can interpret it how you like. There are some people who will never be happy with what they've got unless they've got the best of absolutely everything, and then there are people who... I don't tend to have a lot to do with the people that are never, ever, ever happy with anything and they expect to have the absolute best of everything at all times because I don't particularly like that kind of behaviour. Um, it's it's not something that I do. It's it's not some Well, I, I try not to if I find myself doing that. I have an absolutely wonderful wife who will gently but firmly remind me that the universe does not revolve around me strongly disagree but anyway um apparently the universe doesn't always revolve around me square veil 240 um and in fact the universe doesn't revolve around anybody and neither should it all right big bag pallets big bags euro pallet overloaded round bail round bail 125 is the one that i'm after so now we need to Go up next to that one and start loading bales. So I'm just going to drive in a line up next to where the roller is working. And start picking some of these up. we go and get that one right there. Now I'm curious if it's going to actually load two layers. So anyway, yeah, don't, don't, don't sweat it. I know that some of you in the workplace will be kind of frustrated that things don't go well for you and that it seems really unfair that other people get these chances that you don't get and so on and so forth your your time in the sun will come all right mine did mine did eventually mine, mine got there eventually and it, it does sometimes it seems like it's taking an awful long time but it does happen it does happen eventually you will get the the, the kind of get to do the things that you want to do and i'm saying this because you know I've, I've sort of seen it lately in a few different places with a few different people and the frustration is there and you know the the, the thing it's not fair and it's down to age and experience in different jobs and so on and well why does this person get to do it when i don't and it's it can be really frustrating I, and i do i really do understand that because i do remember what it was like being frustrated with such things right this is now not working so well let's put those straps back on i think it's also partly because we're on a hill it doesn't seem to like loading on a hill. See? Yeah. Pressing R on here. And that is absolutely not working now. Let's let's try heading down the hill slightly. In a slightly different angle. Nope. Alright. 
That's as many as we're going to get on there. If we can load this onto a flat surface, either we're limited by... What's, what's the trailer able to hold, by the way? They're saying 14.7 tons on there. Uh, and the trailers, because we've got the, the limit on here, I think. I think I've got that option for the trailer load limit. Steering sensitivity. Nope, it's in this one. Trailer fill limit on. Trailer's going to be filled to the max allowed weight is reached. So uh, then if we go into here and we're going to have a look at our actual trailer, which is all the way up through here. Let me find it a second. The trailer itself is 4.3 tons. Total gross weight on the road allowed is 13.7 tons and my total weight is 14.7 tons now is that i don't know actually i don't know what that is so if i go huh I'm not sure, really not sure if that is showing that we've got too much weight on here or what. What I'd like is to be able to put this somewhere level. I was thinking over there a little bit. It's kind of level. It's near the edge of the field right here. So it would be good. Uh... I was thinking like down there but now I'm thinking maybe if we bring it along here a bit because the other option is I go down below the greenhouses and I do a bit down there I haven't really got okay first up let's wait for that one to turn round actually I'll tell you what let me go you stay there, you stay there. It is 8 o'clock in the evening. I'm just going to run over here a second and I'm going to sleep the night. I'm going to leave the hired help running up and down doing the rolling uh, while we sleep. I actually shouldn't because we're not supposed to work past 8 o'clock anyway. Um, but what's done is done. Okay, that one's carried on and you had your fuel running out all night um if i go here go into construction this will allow me to take a little bit of a look around unfortunately folks that is all we have got time for today a massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the great book of names to find out some more details about all the names coming past please head into the description and click on the link to the discord it's a link to another video the link is on the other video uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.